Hello YouTube, welcome to my comparison between the 13 inch Apple MacBook Pro with the Retina and the 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, where do you want to start? First of all, let's start of course with a great Retina display. I put both devices close to each other. They have both on full brightness. Uh, and one thing you can already notice is that you get more of a homepage of a website on the MacBook Air. Why is it? The resolution of the MacBook Air is 14, uh, 1440 by 900 here. But the resolution of the standard settings of the Retina MacBook Air is 1280 by 800. So standard 13 inch resolution. Why is that? Apple is scaling it down so that you get the pixel density and the great quality of the Retina MacBook uh, Pro display. Everything is looks way more sharp than over here. But the, you, of course you can change it. You can scale it up to 1440 by 900 so same resolution and you get the same stuff on both devices so now everything is okay but you can even scale it up more you get one step higher up to 1680 by let me guess let me guess bye 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 1050 and now the clear winner is the Retina MacBook Air a Pro you get more stuff on your display and it still looks sharp things getting smaller of course but you can uh, turn up this uh, the letter size and uh, everything is fine if you don't like this but in my opinion it still looks sharp and it's readable of course there are tools that you can scale it up even more even up to the full res retina resolution here but um, no need for that so what else of course we got speakers and the speakers in the macbook retina are not that great but they're still way better than here on the macbook air both devices got around the same 700p camera and performance both devices got an ssd and this is this thing is doing the trick all the programs you are running uh, booting them starting them no differences here because the fast ssd is the key to that but running s stuff the faster dual core i5 cpu in the standard retina macbook pro is a little bit faster around 10 to 15 percent even doing things like um, iMovie renderings or even final cut pro things if you want to go into heavy stuff like final Co cut pro x um, then you wouldn't want definitely go with the 13 inch macbook pro because of the not the performance but of the fan on the MacBook Air, if you're doing something uh, heavy, like flash videos for a couple of times, like gaming or even rendering uh, and in iMovie or stuff, Final Cut, um, the fan gets really, really noisy. Over here on the MacBook Pro, the fan stays quite all the time. I only got the fan up after playing 45 minutes of StarCraft 2. Um, so this is it. You don't get anything uh, really performance upgrades here by the CPU. If you want really performance, then you have to go with a 15-inch MacBook Pro, get the quad-core CPU and the dedicated GPU. Um, but in both cases, wait for the WWDC, what that is, it's right around the corner, and Apple will bring definitely some MacBook Pro updates here to you guys. And what else? Ah, the outside here. Um, of course, 1.62 kilograms, 1.32. You d will definitely notice the weight difference, and there's also a price difference around 300 to 200 euros price difference between those devices. The MacBook Air is still cheaper. Um, in my opinion, I would take the MacBook Air because this is lighter and from the money I, uh, I save I would get an iPad mini. So this is my opinion. Uh, uh, if you, you want to use, the, if you want to have an HDMI output then you need the, the MacBook Pro otherwise just get a Thunderbolt adapter for the MacBook Air. The MacBook Pro does have two th additional th Thunderbolt 
äh, Display Ports und ähm, äh, ne, Lane Ports hier. So one more than the MacBook Air and the HDMI out. Both devices got two USB 3.0 ports here. Um, but in, I can't imagine a scenario where someone needs this. Of course, if you're using one to use two, uh, two Thunderbolt displays or um, such stuff, then you definitely... No, actually, oh, <laughs> the MacBook Air supports lines through. So you get from the Thunderbolt display, in the, from the MacBook Air to the first Thunderbolt uh, port uh, display into the second monitor. And no problems here with the Air 2. So I really don't get, oh, if you want to use it on a Thunderbolt display and then use a Thunderbolt S, uh, NAS or uh, HHD, external HDD, then of course you would need this, but in my opinion, no need for this, just get a wireless uh, NAS or whatever. So, this is it. Uh, in my opinion, if you can live with the noise, if you don't want to use uh, heavy stuff, heavy working stuff, the so MacBook Air is the one to go. If you want to use it as a heavy for heavy user, even as a desktop replacement, and you don't want to spend the money on the 15 inch versions, then the MacBook Pro is the way to go. This is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video and bye.